welcome back to my channel it's Bumi Locks here so Y wig sent me over some bulk braiding hair to try it on myself but I currently like the locks I have on still and I didn't feel like taking them out yet so I'm going to be showing you how I achieved super full boho braids on my sister I kept on having this picture of in my head of braids that look like a sewing install with voluminous and bouncy curls that you can curl when you feel like or brush out or even do a braid out or even some sock curls and I also felt that using 100% human hair would make the style super light even though it would still look really full so this is what the hair looks like you can see it's really full from the top all the way to the bottom so yeah let's get right into the video so I know I'm not a pro braider but from my experience of having you know installs or wigs or weave especially curly hair and doing my own hair for a very long time I know that no matter how good the human hair is the back of the hair would always mat up just because of friction so this is why for the first two rows at the back I am not leaving out any curly hair pieces on the braid so I'm just starting the braid just like a regular knotless braid um, so yeah basically this is not a tutorial on how to do knotless braids but yeah I'm feeding in um, the curly hair pieces from the start to do my knotless braid using the body wave human hair and then I'm braiding it all the way to the to the end and then knotting the ends I do recommend using some glue because you know I did the whole hair finished all the braids and I didn't put glue at the ends and I noticed they started to come out and I did buy glue to put in the ends but I just hate nail glue on my fingers so I thought I could get away with not using nail glue but yeah I think you actually have to use nail glue I don't think I've seen anyone do this but for the bundles I got sent I had to comb up the top of the hair to remove the short strands because before I did this my sister was handing me over some curl pieces that were quite short and I don't think um, I've had to do this for bulk braiding hair before so I'm not sure if it was just the bundles I was sent and I did notice the fourth bundle the last bundle I used didn't really have this problem I don't even know if this is a problem I mean let me know I'm not sure <laughs> now for the third row I started leaving a couple more curls out here and there I left out three cur curls along the braid and then I braided in a final piece for the bottom as well. So as you can see here, uh, just three and then another one just at the bottom. For the rest of the rows, I left curls out for every other braid strand crossover. So you know when you're braiding, it's basically three strands crossing over each other. So I left out one piece at the root, then fed in another piece of the curly hair, then passed the outside strand over and under and then left the curly piece out in the center of the three strands and then right after I, I fed in another piece of curly hair and then braided it twice and then left it out in the center so I did this all the way up until the end of the braid and then I would, then I fed in another curly piece just right at the end so that would be the end of the you know braids to give it that goddess effect so you're not just having like short strands at the end so basically I was leaving out over six curly pieces for every single braid for these rows yeah after the last three rows at the back every single other row apart from that I was feeding in about six to seven pieces or as many as I could fit in yeah on the braid So this clip might actually be the saving grace for this entire video because or else this would not even be like a tutorial or it would not even be helpful to anybody. So yeah I hope this is a little bit clearer 
um because it's really hard filming while i'm braiding at the same time but yeah so i start off leaving the curly piece right at the root so even before i start the three strand you know rotation i leave one cur curly piece out at the root and then i braid it feeding so i'm i'm basically feeding in like a knot less but then after like a two point rotation then i leave the curly piece out almost immediately and then i feed in another piece and then i keep on doing that all the way down so i feed in for like the next three turns and then i start leaving out again every other fourth to fifth braid turn and then i do this all the way to the end before i then knot it up so again if you're using like a silkier human hair texture like this um, body wave um, hair pattern you probably need nail glue or i think even most definitely you need nail, nail glue because yeah i did my sister's hair and like the next day it was starting to unravel um for a couple of the braids i mean i'm not sure why because some of the braids still held their knots and were like really firm but some were just like unraveling so yeah i had to put nail glue on her ends the next day so yeah i think this clip is basically um what i did for all the you know rows right from the middle all the way to the top so this is essentially the essence of this entire tutorial or this video so hopefully this is you know what you are looking for this helps you to know how to you know make the braids super full using any kind of um bulk human hair or any kind of curly hair whatsoever that you'll be using for this kind of hairstyle Another useful tip that you're going to learn from this video or from what I do is I use my crochet latch hook to change the way the curls lay. So for me, especially when I'm braiding, I tend to leave out the curls on one side of the braid, so usually the right or the center. So even if I'm braiding the left side of the hair, then the curls are still coming out on the right side of the braid and sometimes you might want some of the curls to fall, you know, into the face and lay appropriately. Um, to frame the face so I use my crochet latch hook to pull the um, curly pieces through and out to where I want the curls to lay to start styling the hair I use the Revlon brush hair dryer to brush the curls out before curling I did this because you know I always see people brush like if you see the professional um, sewing stylist and hairstylist they always brush out you know the body wave hair first before they actually start curling it so yeah I'm just following what I see and then after I then you know this is actually my nervous attempt at curling the hair with curling tongs I mean this is how I see the girls style their wigs in all the videos I watch all the TikToks you know so I know this isn't a skill I have cultivated as I don't really wear wigs or sewings you know as often or as often as other people and then after this i put the hair in pins because again that's what i see them do after so yeah i mean i don't think it turned out bad it turned out actually really cool um, and it even turned out how i pictured it because i just imagined you know having braids but with curls that look like as if you know you just got a sew in yeah this is it really pretty like once i um, took the pins out um the hair looked so shiny looked like an install looked like a nice sewing yeah and she doesn't even have to bother i mean i feel like she could wash she could style it she could you know st um, pack the hair however she wants she can you know put it up put it down and um, she doesn't have to worry about leave out and then if at all she wants to like manage the curls i feel like you could even just braid it out at night i mean do a braid out and then she can use the heat styling tools whenever she wants because it's human hair after all it's not synthetic and because i've used human hair throughout the entire head it's actually super lightweight because if you actually think about it if you do the maths if you wanted to do any kind of not less or braid hairstyle you would actually need like a minimum of like three packs which for each pack is 160 grams that comes out to be you know almost 480 grams almost 500 grams but i've used four packs of human hair for the entire hairstyle and that's 400 grams so yeah the human hair is a lot lighter so you know you're not worried about having headaches because of the you know weight of the hair and you still have a really an amazing look that is still full 
and as far as you know reusing the hair i think this hairstyle is actually still very sustainable it's lightweight it's protective because it's not pulling on the edges it's not heavy and yeah so yeah this is the final look i think it came out really amazing i'm happy with how it turned out um to summarize i think the bundles that Y wig sent actually are of good quality i mean apart from the shedding when i had to comb out the short pieces i think it actually was quite good for what i wanted to do for this hairstyle so yeah i hope you found this video useful please make sure you like comment let me know if you're going to be trying this out and yeah subscribe oh yeah also subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you again in a future video thank you very much again for watching